However, if we instead have a soluble solid in our liquid and it's actually dissolved, then we have a solution. And this time we won't be able to filter it out. Evaporation or crystallization. For evaporation, we place our solution in an evaporating dish or a crucible, which we normally place on a tripod, and then slowly heat it with a Bunsen burner. This will cause the solvent to start evaporating and the remaining solution to get more concentrated. After a while, crystals will start to form because it's so concentrated. And eventually, all of the solvent will disappear, leaving us with dry crystals of our solid. Crystallization. The first step is still to place our solution into an evaporation dish and heat it, but this time we need to heat it more gently, so we might use a water bath instead of a Bunsen burner. Then once some of the solvent has evaporated and we start to see crystals forming in the solution, we stop heating it and leave it to cool. As the solution cools, more crystals will start to form because solids are less soluble at colder temperatures. 